My name is Sarah and today we'll be talking about different types of cancers to raise your awareness. And I'll be specifically talking about melanoma, which is a type of skin cancer. So if you want to talk about melanoma, you have to know about melanocytes, which are cells that give your skin the light brown or um, tan color. So you would have melanoma if the melanocytes start to grow at an abnormal rate. So you would be able to see some symptoms on your skin like these four. So you would have like a bump on your skin or even the mole would start to deform and grow into a weird shape. And melanoma is actually one of the more common cancers. There's about 200,000 cases in the US every year. And it's one of the more serious types of skin cancer because it can spread to any part of your body very quickly, if not treated and found at a very quick rate. So I hope this information was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys can learn a lot about different types of cancers so that you know what to look for and what symptoms there are. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesday and this week I'm going to talk to you about hepatic cancer. Now, hepatic cancer is also known as liver cancer and in the early stages, you show no symptoms and usually by the time a physician detects that you have liver cancer in your body, it is in the late stages and almost always fatal. Now, chemo and radiation are used to combat the tumor cells in your liver, but there is also an option for a liver transplant where they take out your entire liver and replace it with the liver of someone else. Now, there's also the option of cutting part of the liver, meaning that the part that of your liver that has the cancerous cells, they cut that part away, and the liver will hopefully regenerate itself so you are cancer free. Now, the only reason that you cannot do a partial resection and physicians are forced to do chemo radiation or a liver transplant is because the cancerous cells have invaded the, a vein called the hepatic vein, and this takes deoxygenated blood from your liver to your heart. So in those cases, they have to take out the liver completely. Now, ways to prevent liver cancer, but not always work, is to drink in moderation, meaning it's okay to drink a little bit, but not in excessive amounts, and to get your vaccines to protect against hepatitis B and hepatitis C. All right, for this week's Wellness Wednesday on Cancer Awareness, I'm gonna be telling you guys about Hodgkin's lymphoma. So if you don't know what lymphoma is, it's a cancer that originates from a specific type of white blood cell called lymphocytes. Some symptoms may include fever, night sweats, and weight loss. There is also often a very non-painful but enlarged lymph node in either the neck, under the arm, or in the groin area. I've actually had two people very close to me get this type of cancer who have both recovered and are living healthy lives now, but one of them had a very enlarged lymph node in his neck that was very noticeable to anyone that would look at him. And that's actually one of the reasons why he went to the doctor to get some medical counsel. But um, this particular cancer limits the body's ability to fight infection. But luckily, this is a very treatable cancer, especially in its early stages. It's often considered one of the most treatable cancers of all the cancers out there. And the survival rate is about 92% after one year and about 86% after five years. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday and today's topic is cancer and I want to talk about the statistic of cancer and the most common cancer to the least common cancer. So the first one on the list would be breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, skin cancer, bladder cancer, cancer all the way down to kidney cancer. And I want to talk about the numbers behind this. Did you know that one in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer in their lifetime? One in eight, which is a crazy number. And approximately 268,600 women each year are diagnosed with breast cancer. And around 2,670,000 males are getting breast cancer a year. 
In 2018, worldwide, worldwide, a statistic worldwide, 2 million new cases of breast cancer was found. As well as both sexes in 2020, lung cancer death was 25% of the leading cause. And this lung cancer is more found commonly in men than in women. Um, so the survival rate for the lung cancer is 23%, which is pretty low. An estimate is 142,670 deaths a year from lung cancer, which is a crazy amount of numbers. So get checked up, make sure you're aware of your body, and make sure you check in with your doctors. Hi everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. Today we're going to be talking about cancer. So for many of you that don't know what cancer is, cancer is pretty much uh, a growth of cells that kind of go out of control. They start dividing and duplicating um, uncontrollably and then they begin to destroy a certain um, body tissue. So depending on where this happens that's where you get the names for each cancer. So bone cancer, we have skin cancer, we have breast cancer and so on. So what happens is obviously our body is made of thousands and thousands of cells. So when this happens, um, the cells start to divide and kind of grow up uncontrollably and then the body begins to attack itself. So we don't know why this happens. There's a lot of theories why it does and there's a lot of treatments um, out there. So although there's some people that pass from this, there's a lot of people that survive. So I hope this helped you guys out. Hey guys, so today for Wellness Wednesday, we're talking about cancer and I'm going to talk about pancreatic cancer. So pancreatic cancer is a little tricky because it's really, really hard to diagnose, which means that it's hard to see where it is and that it's there. So pancreatic cancer will affect around 57,000 people a year. That's how many people will most likely get it in America and it's really really hard to survive and to live after because it's very aggressive and it's hard to find in a body as well um but it can be treated and there are people who do survive especially if it's caught early so radiation therapy and chemotherapy which will help fight the cancer can be involved or you can get surgery as well um the surgery will to be removed any tumor that's there um there are a lot of like experimental studies going on trying to see if they can find a cure or a better treatment for pancreatic cancer but unfortunately there isn't a lot that they can do because they just don't know how to find it super early hey, it's naomi one of the interns at goals and today's wellness wednesday video is going to be about cancer specifically lung cancer awareness and if you don't know november is the month of lung cancer awareness so let's go ahead and start so first of all what is lung cancer and how do you get it so lung cancer is a disease um, where your cells in your lungs tend to grow out of control and the lung cancer can begin in your lungs but if it spreads to other parts of your body or tissues or even the lymph nodes or brain this process is called metastasis or metastases so now that we know what is lung cancer let's go ahead and identify some causes so the main cause is smoking so smoking causes lung cancer um, by damaging the cells that line the lungs and when you inhale cigarette smoke which is full of cancer uh, substances such as carcinogens uh, it can cause changes to the lining um, of the lung tissue and the change can begin almost immediately so at first your body is able to repair itself because your body is a wonderful work of art that can repair itself but when you are repeatedly exposed normal cells that line your lungs are damaged at an increased rate and over time that damage can cause your cells to act abnormally leading to lung cancer <clears throat> so now that we know that um, let's go ahead and identify also there are other causes not just smoking so other causes would be like previous radiation therapy exposure to radon gas um, exposure to asbestos or other carcinogens family history of lung cancer which doesn't necessarily mean that you'll definitive, definitively 
get lung cancer, but it definitely increases your risk. Another thing uh, is is secondhand smoke as well, not just direct directly smoking. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and talk about the complications with lung cancer, so complications that are associated with it. Um, and then we're gonna talk about prevention strategies. So let's go ahead and talk about complications. So one of the things is shortness of breath. Uh, when cancer begins to uh, block your airways, you definitely are gonna get shortness of breath. Another thing is um, a buildup of fluid around the chest cavity, or this is called pleural effusion. This can uh, affect you by not allowing you to inhale and exhale properly. Another thing is coughing up blood. This is called hemoptysis. And it can, the level of bleeding can actually get worse and become very severe, but there are treatments available for at least controlling the bleeding. Another thing is pain. With every cancer, there is some pain associated with Another thing is cancer that spreads to other parts of the body. Uh, that can, um, whether, wherever it's spreading beyond the lungs, it's generally at that point incurable. So now that we talked about that, let's talk about prevention strategies, uh, tasks that you can take to avoid lung cancer. So one of the things is don't smoke. If you've never smoked before, do not start. Avoid being peer pressured by any family members, any friends. Um, <clears throat> definitely don't start smoking. If for some reason you have started smoking, definitely stop now while you're ahead. Quit now because it actually reduces your risk of getting lung cancer. Because again, if you are not repeatedly exposed too often, <clears throat> you have that chance of of your body repairing itself. Another thing is avoid secondhand smoke. So if you're around people, um, whether it be at a workplace, restaurant, um, definitely avoid bars and you know those places where smoking is uh, not a smoke-free zone. Definitely avoid those places. Um, and test your home for radon if you are in an area where radon is a common exposure. Another thing is avoid carcinogens, um, whether it be at work, or at your future work, or at school, or even on a college campus. Definitely avoid that. Wherever toxic chemicals are, definitely wear a mask if it is going to prevent you from inhaling those things. Another thing is eating a diet full of rich vegetables and fruits these these foods actually help you uh, prevent certain cancers not just lung cancer another thing is exercise exercise most days of the week um if you don't exercise regularly definitely go ahead and start up slow but try to exercise most days of the week because this actually strengthens your lungs so i hope this helps you guys and brings awareness to you guys about lung cancer so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took something from it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Hey guys, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. For this week's topic, it is on cancer awareness and I will be talking about stomach cancer. So stomach cancer is also known as gastric cancer and it is cancer that occurs in your stomach when there is a tumor. There may be no symptoms of stomach cancer early on and the signs and symptoms of stomach cancer can include poor appetite, weight loss without trying, abdominal be belly pain, vague discomfort in the abdominal, a sense of fullness in the upper abdominal after eating a small meal, heartburn or indigestion, nausea, vomiting with or without blood. So the way stomach cancer is treated in many cases can stomach cancer can't be completely cured, but it is still possible to relieve symptoms and improve the quality of life um, by using chemotherapy and in some cases radiotherapy and surgery. Most of the gene changes that lead to stomach cancer occur after birth. Some of these changes might be caused by risk factors such as age pyloride infection um, which causes stomach inflammation and ulcers or tobacco use but in other gene changes may just be random events that sometimes happen um, inside cells without having any outside causes hello today we're going to talk about different cancer treatments depending on the situation and depending on the kind of cancer there may be one treatment or there may be a combination of different treatments 
the goal of these treatments is to try to um, remove the cancer so that individuals can live a happy and healthy life. But that isn't easily attained. Then the next best thing is to try to shrink the cancer that is growing within the body and or slow down the growth of cancer cells. The first treatment we're going to talk about is surgery, which removes the cancer as a whole or removes um, as much as they can. The second th treatment is chemotherapy. This uses drugs to um, kill the cancer cells. These drugs are pretty strong and they're pretty powerful and it has been an effective way to help people become cancer free. And the last treatment is radiation therapy. This therapy uses high powered energy beams to kill the cancer cells. Um, these high energy um, beams could be x-rays or they could be protons and it could be used by a machine or, it could be, or the radiation could be placed inside of you. We're still trying to find a cure to cancer, but for now these treatments have been helpful in helping people become cancer free. Thank you! Hey guys, um, I'm going to talk to you about breast cancer. So what is breast cancer? Breast cancer is usually um, when there are cells that um, duplicate and these are not these are not good cells. These cells will duplicate and duplicate and create copies of themselves and then it can form into a ball which um, is called a tumor so these tumors are found in the breast and not only women can get them men can get them as well since everyone has breast tissue um, these tumors will um, can either be tested um, if you do find a ball um, you would talk to a doctor a doctor would run some tests and if they decide that it is cancerous then um, treatment would occur. Sometimes people do have to lose their breasts in order to get the tumor out. In other cases, there is treatment like um, chemotherapy where it can get killed um, by itself with some surgery as well. So some main facts, it's main like, um, most likely a tumor in your chest area and all people are able to um, are able to get it like men and women. Everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. So for today's topic, we're going to be talking about cancer awareness and the cancer that I'm going to be focusing on or talking about is colon cancer. So colon cancer is a cancer that is in your colon. Um, it's located kind of a, like the digestive tract, um, a little bit lower. There are many symptoms when it comes to um, colon cancer and the symptoms really depend on the size. So it depends on the location of the cancer in your body. So some common symptoms include changes in bowel habits, um, change in stool consistency. There can also be uh, blood in your stool and a really bad abdominal pain. And treatment for this cancer really depends on the size location and how far the cancer has spread throughout the body there are different kinds of treatment um, there's treatments like surgery to remove the cancer from the body there's also treatments like chemotherapy there's also treatments like radiation therapy so there's different treatments in order to treat this cancer